Hi everyone, Christy from Shark Pixel here, and I just wanted to take a minute to reach out to you guys and just say thank you and say how thankful that I am for each and every one of you. And it means so much that you are part of our community in this way. And that's why today I wanted to give back in a certain way to you guys. No strings attached, this is just a thank you item. It's a little introduction, it's a little video on how to, and I'm gonna be giving you guys a very special beauty brush um, for your images. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with it, but at the end of the day, what this is, it's a little mini course for you, if you wanna call it that, and it's a free downloadable item just to say thank you for being part of our community. I, it might not seem that way, but I'm literally invested in the success of each and every one of you. And this is just how I'm saying thank you today. So let's jump right in and I'm gonna show you what this beauty brush is all about. So we've got this gorgeous image of a model that I shot. And I'm just gonna hold down Option or Alt so you can see the general cleanup that I've done for this image already. But sometimes what I tend to find when I am doing skin work specifically is that it's very easy to lose the shimmer and the shine on the skin when we're smoothing skin. And so I think second to your need and your want to protect skin texture, secondary is going to be to protect that native shine, right? Because as you decrease the visibility or the brightness of the shine on the skin, you tend to make it look fake. So you always wanna protect those shiny areas. You know, not too much shine. You know, this is, this is protecting the shine that we want to be there, right? And so what I have done is I've created a bit of a sparkle brush. And so I'm gonna just show you what that brush looks like. It's called my Skin Shimmer Brush, and it has specific actions applied to it. Um, and it's going to be modified in specific ways as you use this brush. But this is the brush that I'm giving away to you guys for free today. And um, let me just show you, you know, first before we get started, um, what it actually does. So I've got an image here. Let's go ahead and fill this box with black. And then we're going to brush with white. So as I brush, you can see that this brush is actually adding sparkle, shimmer, and shine to the area that I'm clicking on. And I'm actually just using my mouse for this. This is a little bit crazy. You know, usually I would be using my tablet, but this brush, because of the way that it works and because of the way that it reacts, actually you can get away with using your mouse using this brush. So. This is great, it looks a little bit like splatter, if you will, but how does this equate? How do we apply this to beauty retouching? So I wanna go ahead and just increase the native shimmer, probably in this area and underneath the cheek here, and maybe also along the bridge of the nose and a couple other locations on the face as well. So I'll start by creating a hue saturation adjustment layer. And we'll call this uh, Shimmer. Why not? We are going to increase the brightness of this layer to 53. And then we're going to change the blend mode of this layer from normal to screen. Let's select our layer mask for our Shimmer layer and hit Command to Control I to invert the entire mask. Then we're going to use our super snazzy shimmer brush to bring back some of the shimmer and shine on the skin. Now, because this brush has specific settings applied to it, you can see I'm just 
clicking really all over the place, a little bit random. Every time I click, it is going to lay down another bit of shimmer or a different size or a different uh, rotation to that specific brush. That's how this brush was made, okay? So every time I'm clicking, I'm getting a different result. And you saw that a little bit on the area when I showed you uh, what the brush was all about, right? So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on and off of what the brush was able to do. And I do have a little bit of cleanup to do, but for the most part, I really like the result that I'm getting. So I'm just gonna make the brush a little bit smaller and just continue to add that shimmer. And I like doing it this way with these, sp these small little flecks or specks because it creates a more realistic look to the shimmer, right? If we just do it with a regular brush, um, you know, like a soft round brush, for example, you're not necessarily gonna get the best, the, the same result that I'm looking for specifically. So at this point, I'm going and just clicking along the bridge of the nose to accentuate the shine on that area of the nose. So I'm just gonna click the before and the after. You can see how I'm building up that shimmer. So there are two areas that I wanna clean up right here and right here, okay? So I don't necessarily want them to be there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and build um, build this brush right along the, um, the bridge of the nose and just bring back some of that super shine and shimmer. Because what's going on here, and if we think about it, you know, as a retoucher, we're trying to preserve and protect the three-dimensional form of the face. So this kind of lends back to my class on dodge and burn, which I think everybody should have. But what we're trying to do is accentuate the three-dimensional formality of the face. And by doing this, by adding this shimmer, you're really able to make that 3D, make the face pop. So I'm gonna go in here and fill in this area with a little bit more shimmer. And this area we're gonna do something special to in a second because this area is slightly out of focus. And so I want the shimmer to also be out of focus. So. One of our next steps after we're finished here, especially with this area up here, is going to be to uh, add a little bit of Gaussian blur to the shimmer that we're adding up here because we want the retouching to stay natural and, and live within the constraints of the image. So we can't do a bunch of sharp lines on an area of the face that's a little bit soft, right? We don't wanna do that. So we've added our shimmer there. Let's turn the eyeball on and off for our image. So you can see, I love the way it looks on the nose. I have a little bit of cleanup to do on the cheek. And remember, you guys are gonna be getting this brush as a thank you. Today, you're gonna be able to download it and use it on all of your images. So you can use it as a glitter brush, you can use it as a shimmer brush. Um, Wherever you want to add unique uh, flecks of light and glitter, you can do that using this brush, just to really highlight the, the face. Let's come over here and just highlight this area next to this eye. Add a little bit of shimmer there. All right, so let's back up and we'll see our before and our after. You can see how it's bringing back that natural shine to the, to the skin in a really cool, unique way that does not look like retouching at all. So we have a little bit of cleaning up to do, right? 
So the first thing we're going to do is switch off of our shimmer, our skin shimmer brush. And we're gonna go back to a soft round brush. You know, just your regular brush that you probably are familiar with um, for Photoshop. We will change our um, color that we're painting with from black to white by hitting the X key. We're gonna zoom in here and just, you know, just off of this area slightly and off of the nose. I think there shouldn't, there probably shouldn't be any sparkle there. But then we turn it on and off. And you can see even when you zoom in like this, you know, you're, it's, um, it's nice to see this final result. Maybe off the lips just a little bit. So remember, up here I said we've got this area where the underlying image is slightly out of focus, even though the eye is in focus. You know, the underlying image is a little bit out of focus. So we want the shimmer in that area to match the focus. So we're gonna use our lasso tool which you can activate using the L key on your keyboard. We're going to go ahead and make a selection of the shimmer in this area where the underlying image is slightly out of focus. And then we're going to choose filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And 6.6 .6 is probably way too blurred. So what we can do is let's try uh, one pixel blur. It's getting there, but it's not necessarily there yet because it doesn't match the rest of the shimmer, the underlying shimmer. So what if we do 1.5? That seems to be really nice. And it blurs the shimmer perfectly to the point where it looks natural and it looks like it was there all along. So we can deselect that area by hitting Command or Control D. Bring back this gorgeous, beautiful face and go ahead and turn our shimmer on and our shimmer off. And you can see how it really helps just create a really cool effect and just add that little bit of three dimension back onto that skin, back onto that face, and it makes it look fantastic. Okay, folks, so there you go. This is just a little way of me saying thank you for being part of our community. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with and what you guys create using this shimmer brush. And I hope that it helps you in your everyday retouching because it sure is helping me in mine. So I wanted to share it with you. Okay. I will see you on the next course.